In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. It is a new day. We thank God for the gift of life. Dearly beloved of the Lord, today is Monday, the 17th of July, 2023. It is Monday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. This is Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 1, verses 8 to 14 and verse 22. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 124. The response to the psalm is, Our help is in the name of the Lord. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 34 to chapter 11, verse 1. I read from the Gospel. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace on earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet because he is a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he who receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives to one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he shall not lose his reward. And when Jesus had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Lose your life on earth that you may find it in heaven. Lose your life on earth that you may find it in heaven. Dearly beloved of God, in the preceding verses of today's gospel passage, that is Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 to 38, Jesus had been addressing his disciples about the cost of discipleship. It is not easy to be a disciple. Jesus is blunt. Take it or leave it. It comes with persecutions and hatred, even from loved ones. A person's enemies will be the members of his own household. Matthew chapter 10 verse 36 on account of their choice to follow Christ. Yet, they must not surrender. No one should prefer family over Jesus. No one should choose human relationships over him. 
we must be ready to suffer and carry our crosses and follow him. That is discipleship. This may be scary. To forgo family for Christ? Who will be there for us when we need help? To lose our jobs for Christ? How do we put food on our tables? To suffer and be hated for Christ? To lose friends for Christ? The tendency, therefore, may be to avoid hurting those who are dear to us. To avoid going against those who matter, lest they use their power and position to torment us. What if we get killed? We give ourselves for his service, yet try to keep ourselves. Seeking comfort, not wanting the cross or any iota of discomfort. Letting go, but not letting go. Trying to keep ourselves, not wanting to suffer. These fears have made us shy away from witnessing because we try to preserve our lives here on earth. We do not want to die. We do not want to lose friends or our positions. We try to preserve our lives. Preserve? Life? What life? Who gave the life in the first place and for whom do we live? So Jesus tells us, anyone who hears this and is afraid and tries to protect or preserve their lives because they fear to suffer or to be killed, they will rather lose it. But the one who is ready to lose this life on earth for his sake will preserve it in heaven. What a paradox. That in trying to keep, we rather lose. And in losing, we rather keep. Finding to lose and losing to find. What does Jesus mean by this statement? How do we try to keep our lives here on earth? We try to keep our lives here on earth when we are protective of our lives, not wanting to do things of the gospel that can endanger our lives. When we are afraid of giving our all and sacrificing ourselves wholeheartedly for the sake of the gospel. We hear many people say, I defear me. I am afraid. What if I say so? Or what if I do this and they kill me or do this to me? In this way, we try to keep our lives here on earth, trying to avoid to do things that the gospel asks of us because we do not want to offend others who may take away our lives here on earth. But now Jesus says, if we try to keep our lives, we will rather lose it. How? When we try to keep our lives here on earth, we rather do things that offend God. We shy away from criticizing the government and those who matter telling them their mistakes because we play ball with them. We see evil, but we are silent because we fear to point out the perpetrators. We cover up the truth and we tell lies. And, beloved, all this will lead the soul to hell. So you see, the life you try to keep, you rather lose it in hell. So in trying to keep your life here on earth, you rather lose it in hell. You will miss out entering heaven. We try to preserve life on earth, but we lose it in hell, and we miss heaven. This is what Jesus means. But on the other hand, when we are ready to lose our lives here on earth, what happens? We speak the truth, come what may. We damn the consequences. Yes, we may be killed. Yes, we may lose friends. Yes, we may lose our job. Yes, we may be abandoned by family. You may have a frustrated life. Truly, you lose your life here on earth. Yet, like Jesus says, you find it. Because you lose your life here on earth, yet you have eternal life in heaven. Remember the Beatitudes. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. What shall it profit a man? Should he gain the whole world, yet lose his soul? So, dear friends, let us seek, rather, to preserve our lives in heaven than to preserve here on earth. So then, I would rather lose my life here on earth 
to find it in heaven than try to keep it here on earth yet lose it in hell and miss out on heaven. So ask yourself, how do you try to preserve your life in heaven? Do you rather seek heaven or do you rather seek life here on earth? Let us pray for that grace that today and always we may not seek to preserve this life here on earth. Because even if you play along with the government, even if you play along with the evildoers and you make friends with those who do evil, someday you will still die. But I tell you, you would lose your soul and miss out entering heaven. Let us look to those things that are eternal. It is better to miss out on everything here on earth, yet be counted among the sins in heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.